Hi, I'm Irene Mayer, your host for Florida Matters. Here's a special presentation of our latest Florida story. In the shadows of the early morning here on Tanglewood Drive in St. Petersburg, it looks like a Florida house. Sounds like one, too. But when it comes to paying the rising monthly electric bill for climate control and all the other conveniences connected to life in modern Florida, Flo Search thinks she's found the answer. Good day, sunshine. Flo has gone solar. I've got three arrays of PV panels, that's photovoltaic panels, and that's what brings the energy to my home. I've got one panel of uh, PT that's progressive tubing that heats the water for my home. So that's the system that's on the roof. Flo's rooftop five and a quarter kilowatt solar electric system produces enough power to run her entire house, even the pool pump. And this is the new DC system that is the solar pump. And this is what is running my pool now. I decided to go solar because I am very environmentally conscious and have become even more so in the last few years. I just felt that it was important for me as an individual, as an American, to do what I could do for our environment. Not only does it make sense to reduce harmful emissions into the atmosphere and reduce our dependence on foreign oil to generate electricity, Flo Search believes her sizable investment makes dollars and cents. And then there's also a rather large tax credit that I'll be getting this year on my taxes. With federal and state rebates and an assortment of other incentives, Flo thinks her $40,000 expense will wind up costing her about $8,000. I think that this was a great investment to take my money and put it into the solar system. I'll have it paid off in about two, two and a half years of not having electric bills. And then from there on, I will not have um, electric bills, and that'll be that much money saved every year. The thought of being less energy dependent has this Floridian beaming. Every time I flip on a switch or turn on anything that's powered by electricity, I feel great. I know that I'm producing the energy myself here and that I don't have to pay for it on a monthly basis. So it's a great feeling, and I know I'm helping the environment too. Energy somewhat falls into two categories, all right? Renewable and non-renewable. Being a good again, steward of the environment is okay. something Flo and Search is really serious remember, about. As a fifth grade energy. teacher at Perkins Elementary, she sees the Earth's future seated right in front of her. We need to have more regard onto what we're doing at the planet and the ozone. So how about we'll say for renewable, it can be replaced or it won't run out. At least not for a very long time. Now, yeah. So like those panels on your house are renewable? Right, very the good. Energy. So when science class rolls around and the subject is renewable solar energy, solar energy like kind of wind and solar, flow we'll knows. Now water comes in, and this is on the roof of my house, and it comes into the black tubing. So what do you think is going to happen to the water running through the black tubing as it's going through? Anna. If the sun's out, then the hot, since it's black, it will, the sun will probably heat it up, and then when the water's coming through it, it will get hotter, and then you have hot water. Exactly. And it comes out the bottom as hot water and runs right into my house. I've always kind of wanted to know somebody who had solar panels on their house. <coughs> And my teacher does, which is really awesome. Seems a lot of people nowadays think solar is awesome. With a recent suggestion from his son, the governor, Dr. Charles Crist will now heat up his chilly swimming pool with the good old Florida sun. And for us not to utilize that sun for energy is really a mistake. So I think that's the way to go. And it, it, once you install it, it's free. Good day, sunshine. Free Good and plenty of it. After all, Florida is Good the sunshine day, state. Sunshine.
Dale Goulden, president of Solar Direct, says Florida's future looks bright. Florida right now is on the brink of what potentially could be them standing as probably the leader in the solar industry in, in the United States. So let's think about the renewable. In the meantime, back at Perkins Elementary. We could also um, use solar energy or wind energy. The fifth grade class of Flow Search remains a ray of Florida sunshine. It makes me realize that um, even though the children are 10 and 11 years old, that they care about our world, the environment, and that they really want to do their part to help, even though they're young. And in order to collect that solar energy that's coming from the sun, we use a few different things, mostly what's called a photovoltaic. I think I'm really going to want to get one because I, I would like to have like less stuff to pay on my house because I want to have a big house. Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. Don't miss our regular broadcast of Florida Matters, Friday nights at 8 on WUSF-TV. Major funding for Florida Matters comes from the Mosaic Company, a leading producer of fertilizer made from phosphate and natural resource found in Florida. Mosaic, helping America grow.